Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Make Things Fly. So today, we're going to talk about something that's a common sight in the U.S. grocery stores. If you're Safeway, there's a lot of them. Uh, your common sight is this foil balloon. Now, a foil balloon is kind of a unique looking balloon. Uh, the material is very rigid, so when they inflate it, it kind of gets these interesting little dimples to it. Uh, it's kind of metallic looking. Um, it's known that if you release these and they get caught up in power lines, sometimes they can short out uh, transformers and things. You can see online videos of like explosions when these get released up. So these actually have a warning saying, do not release outdoors. Uh, at least never uh, use near overhead power lines. Um, another thing about these is that the, the ink that they're printed on can sometimes run, it says, you know, be cautious with water because it can make the ink run. Other than that though, it's a, the, this one has been cut into kind of a star shape, but they do all different kinds of shapes. I've seen boxes, I've seen uh, diamonds, I've seen a lot of different things. So the, the uniqueness of these foil balloons is that you can shape them in a lot of different shapes. Uh, if you're curious what they look like, so this is what one of these balloons look like, but they're not inflated. So pretty much what they do for the main construction is they'll take balloon foil and they will press it into the shape. And they'll heat seal along the edge in the shape that they want, and then they trim off the excess. And so that's kind of how they do the, the basic uh, balloon that's not filled up. The ones in stores are usually filled with, with helium um, and they, they can last for days or a certain number of times. They're different than the regular latex kind of balloons. So a latex kind of balloon, uh, these ones are a lot more stretchy, right? You don't get as many shapes with these. Uh, at least the, the I've seen, it's pretty generic that they expand into a round shape. Um, and that's pretty much it for these ones. But they might get, I mean, more tubes or things like that. But as far as the unique shapes that you see with these ones, the foil balloon is really, fun to work with because of uh, the possibilities with the shapes. Um, although the balloon looks pretty simple and basic, it actually has a little bit more going on than what meets the eye. So like with the, with the regular latex balloon, you have the stem, right? You can stretch it out and you fill it up. So if you let it go, the air comes out, right? Just straight out the tube. But these foil balloons, I don't know who thought of this or who came up with it, but these foil balloons, they have a little uh, opening here. And if we fill this up, I've got a canister helium here. If I take this and I insert and I fill it with uh, helium. Something you notice is when I'm done, it stays. Like it doesn't, you can just, you can put some squeeze on it, not too much to bust the seams, but <clears throat> you put some pressure on here and nothing comes out. So let's go ahead and find out why that is. So at first start off, we need to get the helium out of here. It's up to hives, that can be kind of fun to do. So If you do this, you don't try and do too much because what's going to happen is that you purge all the oxygen from your lungs. So you could get a little bit uh, lightheaded doing this. But as you replace the oxygen back in your lungs, you can hear the voice dropping. And again, that's the helium, which is a really small particle is leaving my lungs and oxygen and nitrogen are coming back in, which are heavier. So hopefully my voice gets a lot more manly. Okay, here we go, one more time. 
All right, so now that we've deflated our helium balloon, we are now going to trim along the seal so it's been heat sealed together. I'm gonna cut that apart. So as I'm cutting this apart, what you're not seeing is that it's actually this blue foil can be a little bit hard to work with in that it kind of rolls on itself. So that's something I'm noticing if we're cutting it is it's curling in. But I can just imagine in the factory as they're trying to lay out these sheets and heat seal them, that would probably be a little bit hard. They probably have to put things down on it to keep it from rolling up. So we've removed the heat seal. So we see that general shape. As we peel it back, you can see what's been keeping those the, the helium inside from coming out. What we have here, let me cut this loose so you can see it better. Okay, and again, I don't know who came up with this, but it's really clever. So what they have is essentially, they have, you can see down here, there is a red mark and it goes all the way through, but they heat sealed over the top of this thing. And it's essentially like the balloon, it is two pieces of plastic rather than the balloon foil. It's two pieces of plastic that are heat sealed together, right? So it's very thin and it lays flat together. But the thing is, if you go and push air in there, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it actually, as the air pressure enters the tube, the tube expands out, right? So it allows air or helium, it allows helium to go through it like a, like a straw almost. But then once you stop with filling it up with helium, that pressure goes down and then it lays back down flat. And then actually as the balloon, as you can see with this one, as the balloon stem and the foil doesn't go around round edges very much, it kind of, it kinks itself. So it kind of folds up. So essentially, so essentially what that's doing is taking this tube and then also adding an additional kink to it. And what that does is that pressure on the inside is greater than that of the inside of the tube, so it actually will help keep it pressed together. And that's what's created a one-way valve. And so that's why with this balloon, which doesn't have that, it, the air just comes straight back out the tube. With this design, uh, you can put air in one side, it comes up, fills up, and then that pressure keeps the balloon sealed. So that's actually a very clever one-way valve that they, somebody has engineered and put in these balloons. Okay, so what we've got here, so we did a, the, my previous attempt after cutting that balloon foil, we showed it last time where it rolls up. It's really kind of hard to keep flat. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken the, the other balloon and I've kept the heat seal on it and I've flattened it out, deflated it. Um, so what we're going to attempt to do in this one is we're going to take their shape, which, you know, is a very hexagon, it's got five sides, um, and we're going to attempt to make it into another shape. So what I'm going to do is we'll go and I'm going to draw badly drawn, but I'm trying to get as much 
trying to keep as much of the original space as possible because anytime you go smaller it just makes it that much harder for the balloon to go up okay so i've dra uh, drawn a heart shape on this next i'm going to take my uh, my sealing iron and we're going to seal around the shape Something we found out from the uh, previous experiment is that the print side, if we were to flip this thing uh, inside out, do the green to the green, and we tried to heat seal it, it actually wouldn't heat seal very well. Okay, so the factories, again, they're stamping this. This is me, I just have a soldering or a, a heat iron. So normally what they would do is they would have the shape uh, in a filament or something that heats up to seal it together and they just stamp this down so they'll have whatever it is they'll unroll their foil and they'll stamp it down together but unfortunately i don't have that so i'll have to use the iron and i'm trying to include the one-way valve in this as well Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and double seal this now, uh, just in case you know there's any holes or anything like that. They just do one big fat, you can see how fat their seal is. Um, I'm just gonna run my iron around it just to make sure that there's no leaks. So I'm gonna do more of a flat iron. And this will make sure that if there's any holes in you know, that I can really seal it together here. Okay, so I've now, just to give a demonstration, uh, something we discovered from the last time. Is when you have the foil, it's a little too far. So as I had the foil, my first attempt now if you have the foil, uh, you have the two sides, the metallic side and the print side. Uh, I actually found that trying to get the two sides, so if I'm going to go to the ink side to the ink side, if I was going to try and get that to, to seal together, it actually doesn't seal together at all. It actually, But if you go to the metallic side to metallic side, And it does seal. So that's something I found out in the course of this. Okay, so we start off with a hexagon shape, which made kind of a star. I uh, traced around and I made a balloon or a heart shape. And then I took my heating iron and I went around the sides just one time first to seal it, and then a really good flat seal to get a little bit wider seal. Um, and I've also made it to include the uh, the original valve down here at the bottom. So now we're going to give it a inflate it with, a, with my helium and see if it'll go up. Now I do lose some of the uh, the uh, square foot or the uh, lifting capacity as I trimmed off some of the excess of the balloon. Well, hopefully this will go up. Three, two, one. 
And there you go. So now we've seen that my terrible looking heart shaped balloon actually does fly. And so that's how you can heat seal and you can make your own shapes with the foil. If you're curious, my heating iron that I use, uh, the uh, Clover Needlecraft, is made by Needlecraft, and uh, it, what I like is it's like the soldering iron, but the tip of it, it does really well, it glides over the material pretty well, so that's what I have, uh, it works pretty well. My knob fell off, I actually have to adjust it using a, a bit, a uh, screwdriver bit, but other than that though, it looks pretty well, it does different temperatures, so some foils will melt quicker than others. Um, so that's where these irons are, with the iron that we use. Well, if you enjoyed this, thanks for watching. Um, I enjoyed making this, and if you'd like to see other videos, please check out my uh, other projects I've done, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching Make Things Fly. Thanks, bye.